Hey everybody, this is Brendan here at Common Motor. That's common-motor.com on the internet. And today we're going to show you how to hone out your cylinders on your vintage Honda. Stay tuned. So we're going to hone out the cylinders on this CB360 block. Uh, the same process is going to apply to all the other twins, the 350s, 450s, even the 554 cylinders. It doesn't matter the type of uh, cylinder you're, you're honing, the process is relatively the same. So the question is, why is it important to hone? Well, if you're rebuilding the top end of the bike and the cylinders themselves, the diameters are within the service limit, meaning you know, they've worn a little bit, but they haven't worn to the point that they need to be bored or worn out. Uh, we're going to hone them, and we're going to hone them because we have to get down to some fresh material uh, on the cylinder walls for the new piston rings to break into. If you're putting new rings in your engine, you need to hone the cylinders so the rings have a fresh, clean surface to break into. So how do we know we're within service limits? We used our dial bore gauge here, got these available on the website as well. Uh, to measure the inner diameter of the cylinder here you know, and figure out if we were in limits or not. And all that information is in you know, the various Honda manuals depending on the bike. This 360 passed the test. It's got a little bit more life left in the cylinders. So we're going to hone it because honing is fast, it's easy, and it is way cheaper than actually boring the cylinder out and having to uh, buy oversized pistons. That's really uh, common in the car world, but in the bike world we can get more uh, life out of the cylinders. And I always suggest going as far as you can before you have to actually bore it out. So this is what we're going to be actually using to hone the cylinders. Uh, this is called a flex hone or a dingle ball hone or a, a ball hone. All kinds of names for these things. And basically it's like a brush with these little blobs of silicon carbide on them. They're going to flex as this goes into the cylinder. With these uh, cylinder hones here, you have to make sure to buy the correct diameter for your cylinders and also the right grit for uh, the cast iron liners. And that's what we do have uh, down below in the links in the comments there uh, for this part. So we got them all. Make sure you buy the right one for your bike. We're going to oil this up with some regular uh, uh, motor oil to keep it lubricated. And the whole process goes pretty quick, about 30 seconds per cylinder. And it's a fast, aggressive a noisy process, but once it's done, it yields beautiful results. So we're going to set everything up in the shot, and we're actually going to do the honing right here. Okay, let's actually, we're set up to do the hone now. I got the cylinder mount in the vise, so it's not going to move. Horizontal is nice. Um, makes a mess. Gloves. We've got a vest on, I mean, uh, apron on. Safety glasses, because uh, this stuff is going to get flung everywhere when we actually do the honing. Got our clock out so we can keep things timed. And just put some oil in the cylinder here. And work it around. I just want a nice even coat of oil inside the cylinder here. That should do it. Here more. Great. Here's our hone set up on the drill. So here's going to be our technique. Important to keep the hone level and fairly straight into the, the bore of the cylinder. We're going to be getting a running start, meaning that I'm going to get the drill going and plunge the hone into the cylinder. And I'm going to go, we're doing a stroke back and forth, right? We're going to do about half a second per stroke. So it's one stroke per second back and forth. I'm going to get about half of the hone out of the cylinder over here side and then half of the hone out of the cylinder on every stroke. We're going to do that for 25 seconds at a quick, at a like smooth pace like that. Last five seconds of our 30 second hone process, I'm going to like really bring the speed up and go a lot quicker and then when I exit the hone, 
exit with the drill spinning. I don't ever want to just kind of work this in dry. I always want to get a kind of a running start. Um, if your hones are kind of new, I would put a little bit of oil actually on the on the actual uh, dingle balls themselves, kind of soak them. All right, ready? I'm going to do 30 seconds. I'm going to start here at the 6. We're going to end at the 12. Remember, last 5 seconds, we're going to speed it up. Drill speed, like 600, 700 RPM. All right, last five seconds. Let's see what we got. So the, the hone leaves this you know, residue of you know, iron and oil and silicon, car silicon carbide in there. Uh, I'm just gonna take a nice clean paper towel and give it an initial wipe. We're gonna do an inspection to make sure everything uh, looks good in the cylinder here. If it doesn't pass inspection, you need to hone a little bit more because you see there's a high spot or some grooves or something in there you wanna clean up. <coughs> You can come back in with the hone. I would do 15 to 20 second increments. Do a little bit, stop, check your work to see if you got to take out a little bit more material. It's like, uh, it's like cutting a piece of lumber. You can always cut it short and keep cutting more off. So same thing, just uh, be conservative with how much you're honing the cylinder. Uh, sometimes they need a couple passes uh, to get them really cleaned up. Uh, we're gonna zoom in here and show you the, the cross hatch pattern on the actual uh, cylinder wall here, which is gonna be this kind of like that looking, that's kind of like an X type pattern, uh, 45 degree angles in the, in the cylinder bore here. That's what we want to help uh, break the rings in. <laughs> Cylinders are honed. I uh, still got to wipe them out a little bit more. I got some more uh, sludge to, to wipe out of them and keep inspecting. Uh, both of these so far look good. I don't see any spots where I'm going to have to go back and do the hone, but it's always important to uh, uh, make sure you know, if you have to get a little more hone in there, do just a little bit more. Uh, the next step for this, really important, after I wipe this clean, I'm going to go wash this in hot water and dish soap. And I'm trying to get all that residue out of here and take a, take a white rag, you know, take your paper towel, well this one's all dirty, but you know, a clean one and just keep wiping the cylinders over and over and over again until you don't get this type of you know, gray uh, you know, sludge residue on the towel. That's your test. You should be able to wipe it and the towel comes out clean. All the time, the white glove test, basically. Um, so wash them, wipe them really well, and after you dry them, like dry them quickly, uh, make sure you coat the cylinders with something like WD-40 to keep them from flash rusting. Uh, we don't want rust be forming on your, your freshly honed cylinder. So, because uh, these pieces are iron, the tops and the bottoms here and the inside. So, uh, and after that, they should be ready to go together. But cleaning is super, super, super important. Do not skip it. Do it the right way. Wash it with soap and water. Dry them. Use this because this thing has to be clean and fresh going back together. That's it. A really simple process. Uh, it's done quickly and it gets you a lot more life out of your cylinders than you can do with some basic tools um, that we have available and you should have around your shop. This is Brendan with Common Motor. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Subscribe to our newsletter via the website, and of course, subscribe to us right here on YouTube. We'll see you next time.